So I've just arrived in Dublin and I have no idea what I'm doing. But uh, I'm downtown and uh, I'm going to bring you guys a little bit of a video log here on this trip. It's the 22nd of February and as you can tell it's rush hour. You can get a look at this. I think that's the River Liffey over there. Anyway, uh, I'll check in with you in a little bit. See how I do. Bye. Some of this architecture is really beautiful. Another bus arriving. Here we are at Dr. Quirky's with the purple door. The wind is blowing pretty briskly and I'm reminded that it is February here in Dublin at Dr. Quirky's. Am I crazy or what? I'm crazy to be here. I need to be to get to Belfast. So I'm here at Connolly Station in Dublin. This is where my morning in Dublin actually ends. I have to get going to Belfast. I just said goodbye to a brand new friend. His name was Kobe from Israel. And uh, he met a really cute Colombian girl, but for some reason left her at the hotel. Go figure. If that was me, well, you know the rest. Anyway, so uh, now we're about to uh, figure out how to get a train to Belfast. And uh, I really didn't get to see that much of Dublin, but it's cold and I'm just happy to be here. So we're sitting here day two in Belfast and uh, I'm going to turn around so you can see behind me there's a place called Springsteen's Diner which uh, I should check out. Mary, I should just get a shot of this for you. This is Springsteen's Diner. We're on the main drag here on Botanic Avenue and uh, maybe I'll go check it out and see what's uh, what they've got here but this is wonderful. We're in Belfast, Northern Ireland my hotel's right there, the Madison's Hotel. Fantastic. It's a beautiful early morning here on a Wednesday morning. And uh, it's raining because, you know, that's Ireland. So let's go check out Springsteen's. All right, so here's Springsteen's up a little bit closer. They don't open until uh, 3 o'clock, Mary. But just in case you're wondering, here's the menu. Uh, a little bit of the menu here. Cheesy garlic bread, chicken satay, Cajun mushrooms. Sirloin, smothered chicken, steak sandwich. Mmm, it all looks good. Hey there, we're sitting here in the middle of Belfast. I'm about to do a little bit of exploring. And uh, you can see there's a lot of traffic going all around me. It's a nice rainy day here in Northern Ireland. And uh, let's see what we can find. All right. Here's Auntie Annie's Porter House. Thing. 44 spirits and 44 beers. Look at the brickwork here. Stonework. Beautiful. Thanks, brother. sure what this is. Might be City Hall. Some beautiful buildings here. Now oh, there's a little bit of traffic as well. Let's see if we can find out what it is. Okay, that was City Hall. This is City Hall. And there's apparently a Ferris wheel in front of City Hall. So we're going to check it out. We're going to try to go down to the docks where the Titanic was launched the fateful night. Ronnie Drew's Bar and Lounge, and down the street is 
St. George's Market right here. We're going to check that out. Okay, you got to read this warning here. Vehicles parked here will be clamped, so you don't want to park here. This, we're getting close to the waterfront. Okay, we're here in Thanksgiving Square, still in Belfast. This is the statue. I'm going to have to back up. I'm not going to be able to see this, but she's holding like the world. You can see. I don't know if you can see the little hills in the background there, but the camera's probably not powerful enough to do it. And then the traffic over here, the city. Very happy to find Forbidden Planet comic book shop on this really small street that's mostly closed to traffic. We're going to check it out and uh, take a look. Good morning. It's about 6.30 in the morning on Friday morning and I'm sitting here in the bar with nobody here because my roommate snores like a Wookiee. Actually both of us snore like Wookiees but he's winning the snore wars. So um, I'm still like kind of jet lagged. I'm having a great time. We've been staying up every night performing, playing and actually right here where I'm sitting uh, I'll give you a little view. Last night was loaded with about I don't know, 20 different songwriters, lots of people drinking over here in the bar, over there, and uh, this is where we have breakfast in the morning. It's a beautiful hotel, the Madison Hotel, Madison's Hotel, and, um, you know, I just couldn't sleep because it's hard to sleep when your roommate snores like a Wookiee, but uh, it's been a lot of fun so far, so um, I wish I had video footage of our performances, but unfortunately I don't. And um, you'll just have to take my word for it that it's a great festival. Uh, I'll check in with you a little bit and a little later. Bye. It's Friday night and we're all a little bit tired at this point. Jet and I spent the day today working with some great high school students doing workshops on songwriting and creativity. And tonight Chet's going to be playing at the John Hewitt, which is a great place a little further down the road from the Madisons. I'm still here in our hotel room that's kind of trashed here at the Madisons. And I'm going to be heading downstairs in a few minutes, and uh, maybe I'll get some footage of, you know, just how uh, festive everything is here. But um, hopefully it'll be a great Friday night. I don't actually have to play tonight, so I can just relax. But, man, I'm feeling it. It's been a great week, but we're tired. We'll see you in a little bit. So we're sitting here at the John Hewitt Bar in downtown Belfast, and the boys are setting up. Chet is going to be playing with our producer, Tom Utes. You can see there's a great lively crowd here tonight. Should be a good gig. Looking forward to this, seeing these guys play together. Thank you. 